Welcome. My name is Sadie. If we haven't ever met before, I am one of the wellness coordinators for Healthy Lifestyles. And I'm going to talk to you today about our upcoming Park RX program. We have run this program in the past in the summertime, but this year we are shifting it to the fall. So I'm going to discuss to you what a park prescription is, the benefits of forest bathing, and how you can earn up to 90 points for this program. I want to kick things off with some questions for the chat box. And the first one is, what is your favorite thing about fall? And Brittany, would you mind sharing yours while we're waiting for things in the chat box? Yes, of course. I can see them coming in. And I agree with a lot of them is the cooler, the cooler feeling outside that crisp air, those crunchy leaves, all the weather things about fall. And of course, pumpkin spice and pumpkin flavored goodies. <laughs> oh yes, we're getting this pumpkin spice lattes, cooler weather, football, cool mornings. Oh, I am, I am definitely a sucker for the pumpkin spice latte, everybody. I mean, I've been researching when it was going to come out. I knew it was going to be the last Tuesday of August. <laughs> I, I completely agree with you. Ooh, hoodies, everything. Excellent. I have another question for all of you. Why do you like to spend time in nature? And I want all of you to know the pictures used in this PowerPoint today, every single one of them is pictures of fall in Utah specifically Salt Lake County and Utah Valley. Relaxing, quiet, calming to charge and appreciate what we have, peaceful, relaxes me, energizes at the same time it's healing for me. All these are wonderful. Grounding, it's soothing, helps with stress. Well, we completely agree. And actually, there is science behind this. So all of your answers fall into this term called forest bathing. So Brittany, if you wanna to go to the next slide, thank you. The term forest bathing actually emerged in Japan in the 1980s as a physiological and psychological exercise called Shinrin Yoku. The purpose was to offer an eco antidote to the tech boom that was happening and people were beginning to feel burned out and they wanted to inspire the residents to reconnect with the country's forests. Um, so once they implemented this in the 80s, researchers in the 90s started studying the benefits of this forest bathing. And the science ended up supporting a lot of the things that you put in the chat box. And here are some conclusions that they came up with. So first we have reducing stress. So Japanese researchers discovered that leisurely forest walks decrease the stress hormone cortisol by 12 and a half percent compared to those that they studied walking in urban areas. Um, they saw an improved in mood. So studies found that spending time in nature releases hormones related to joy and calmness. And then even here in, um, at the University of Utah, we have a professor, David Strayer, who discovered an improvement in creative problem solving with individuals just after three days of forest bathing within his study. There is so much more. We have boosts the immune system. So we actually breathe in um, the different um, cellular reactions of the trees and plants, and these enhance our white blood cells to fight disease when released into our systems. And then we've also seen a reduced um, blood pressure as well. So lots of great benefits. Some of the ones that you had put were physical and some of them were mental. So we love that combination when we're immersing ourselves in nature. So Healthy Lifestyles is collaborating with an organization called ParkRx to bring this program to you so you can enjoy all those benefits of forest bathing. So ParkRx is actually a nonprofit organization um, who encourages doctors to give prescriptions to their, um, to their patients instead of um, opioids as a way of intervention. 
to have all these different benefits and have some natural releases of serotonin and those happy hormones that we had talked about. And um, so I mentioned before, we have worked with Parker X in the past and we're going to do it again this year, but we are actually one of the only employee wellness programs in the nation that offers Parker X. So you guys are very lucky and it's awesome because we've been using a lot of the data that we collect to help other employee wellness programs bring forest bathing to their organizations. All right, we can move on to the next, excellent. So this program will take place from September 20th to November 19th. We just need everybody to register by the 17th so we can get all the data organized with uh, what you share with us in the pre-survey. And I mentioned before, there'll be 95 points available. So I'll go into more detail about that, but just know that completing the pre and post survey and engaging in your prescriptions, 50 points, and then we have some bonus points later. All right, we can keep moving right along. All right, so if you haven't already registered, you can do that, like I mentioned before, by the 17th. The pre-survey, it includes questions about your current nature behaviors. This just helps us see if there was an improvement at the end. Um, and you actually get to create your own prescription in this survey. So you get to select an activity that you wish to complete in nature, whether it's walking, yoga, rollerblading, meditating. We have somebody who put horseback riding or other. You can pick whatever you want to do. You can even pick other if you want to do different activities each time you visit um, some green space. And you will also set your frequency, so how many times a week that you want to complete your prescription and for how long. Is it 15 minutes each time? Um, 30, 45, or 60 plus. And Sadie, in the chat box, I also posted um, where you guys can click on the link to register for Parker X. Thank you so much, Brittany. Yes, if you haven't already done that, go for it. And if you have questions as you're going along, put them in the chat box. Um, something I want to clarify that it was confusing last year is prescriptions can be completed anywhere outside. It can be your backyard. It can be in the mountains, at a park, river, trail, if you're out camping. The benefits, um, benefits of forest bathing can happen in any green space or nature space. Um, so as you're going along and you may actually sign up in the pre-survey for park recommendations near you, you can sign up for those um, through text message or email, but that doesn't mean you have to go to those ones. They're just recommendations. You can complete your prescription wherever you like. Like I mentioned before, um, you can put your prescription anywhere you like, but these are some resources for you if you need to find different, um, if you just want to switch it up, you want to find new trails, you want to find new forests. So alltrails.com is a great one. Um, they have all types of parks and trails and they even let you know if they're dog friendly, um, how difficult the trail is, and they even show you some pictures. And the same thing for discovertheforest.org. And we even have our own resource here at Salt Lake County at slco.org slash parks. And you can find um, parks, trails, even rentals too, like yurts and things like that, and some open space. Oh, we have a question. Somebody asked, will we get a copy of our answers? I forgot my frequency. We can, if you want to email us, I can send that on over to you. But that's a great tip for those of you who haven't registered, maybe write down your prescription so that you can remember what you set it as. All righty. So how do you earn points? Again, if you complete that pre-survey, you participate in your prescription, complete the post-survey questions, you get 50 points. But this year we've actually added some bonus points based on um, some feedback we received last time we did this program and majority of participants said they wanted some scavenger hunts to do. So we have what's called a census scavenger hunt and they will, will be 10 points each. And then we're going to do our photo contest again. So if you enter a photo of you completing your prescription um, to the contest, we'll give you five points for that too. So giving us a total of 95. 
I'll give you more details on the scavenger hunts on the next slide. All right, so this is the census scavenger hunt. So each, we will send out emails to those who registered and um, it'll be every other week that we send a new scavenger hunt for you to do. So the first one will be all about what you see when you do your prescription. So we um, have you finding maybe a leaf or watching a leaf fall from a tree. We have um, look for berries on a branch, look for a bird's nest, watch the clouds go by. The reason that we're doing this is it's helping you practice some mindfulness. If you are completely opening up your senses and you're focusing on these different things, it's gonna add to those benefits of forest bathing. And you will um, record your completion of these senses scavenger hunts in the post survey. So you will just mark off if you've done them. We will also have a fillable journal for you if you want to record about your experience. That isn't something you turn into us, it's just to help guide you and maybe reflect on um, your experience. And the photo contest, these are fun. These are actually photo winners from last time we did this program last summer. Like in the right hand corner, it's very small, but you can see that this fella is cliff jumping. So that was a pretty cool photo. So you don't have to do any extreme sports to win, um, just finding those pictures that are going to be engaging to others. But again, just by turning in a photo, you get those extra bonus points. It just has to be a photo of you getting active in nature. And you turn this photo in on your Well Steps account. So under your October rewards, you scroll down to bonus points and you can upload a photo straight into your Well Steps account or app. What we will do is our team will compile all the photos and Healthy Lifestyles will pick um, our top 10 favorite photos and then we'll send those out to all of you participants to vote for your top three and they will win a grand prize. All right, now that is the gist of Park RX. So do we have any questions? I'm excited that it's gonna be at a different time of year this year. So we'll do it in fall instead of summer. I think that's gonna be a super awesome experience. Oh yeah. All right, we have, when does it run again? It will be September 20th to November 19th. So about two months. Will there be a weekly email reminder like other healthy lifestyle challenges? We will be sending reminders every other week with information about the scavenger hunts, about the um, park art, or the Parker X photo contest. We will have other resources there for you, but it'll be up every other week. So we're not blowing up your email for two months straight. Excuse to get outside and spend more time enjoying fall. Fabulous, yes. I'm excited to see all the different photos. Are you going to be giving any recommendations for different places, places to be alone, places for families? So, that is a great question, Salt Lake County Library. Um, Brittany, do you mind going back to the all trails and the forest .org? Definitely. They give, For sure. They give some great details on that when you go to um, alltrails.com. Perfect. Can you see it? Yes, and discovertheforest.org. They give great details about, I mentioned before, the difficulty and um, if it's places to bring family or pets. And then when you do the pre-survey, you will also, you can sign up for reminders if you wish just to get out there and then it will send recommendations in your area too. And we've been working with USU Extension on monthly hikes and walks. So we will partner with them again for ParkRx to um, do those as well. So if you have, we've had um, a great consistent group that's been coming, but we would love other people to join us. And those happen on the third Thursday and Friday of each month. What are the photogram prices? Just out of curiosity, we haven't decided yet. So we could even put a survey question in one of your weekly emails about your thoughts on what you guys would want that grand prize to be. We can get your input since we haven't bought them yet. All right, does it help with toddler friendly? Oh, is that asking about the all trails and those? I believe so. 
Um, on the all trails, it does talk about the different types of difficulty, how long it is, and where it goes. Um, so you can definitely take a look at that and see if that's something that your toddler might be able to do. I love that you're getting the family involved. That's exactly what we're hoping for yes. is to make this habits for the people around you to get out and about. But I don't know, Agreed. maybe you guys will develop this habit and keep it going through the through the winter time. <laughs> but other than that, that's all we have for you today, just to give you some more information about how the program works. And we're really excited to get it started.